Hello, welcome to Accounting Hub. I'm Professor George Scarping, and let's talk today about Moodle and how to import test banks from TestGen to Moodle. So, TestGen is used by Pearson, Wiley, and other publishers. If you need help on how to import the test bank from the publisher website to TestGen, we have videos about that on our playlist and uh, two videos, one using Pearson and the other one using Wiley, they are on the video descriptions. So, okay, let's do this first one. And it's the same for uh, Pearson or uh, Wiley. Uh, the chapter one, I already did it. So, let's do the chapter two. So, here, you can create a huge one. Okay, that is up to you. All you need to do is to do this for all of chapters. Or you can do it chapter by chapter. I prefer doing it chapter by chapter because it's easier to handle on Moodle when you are creating your quizzes. But that is completely up to you. So learning objectives, the first one. And the second one, you need to do it for all of chapters if you are doing only one test bank. So, learning objective two, four, two, five, two, six, and finally the two, seven. Okay, now select with the shift. I prefer going up than going down. For me, it's easier, but it's completely up to you. But first, sorry, you need to create a web test. Moodle. Or any other one, because we will export it later. So it doesn't matter. We will not even save this one. But you can save it if you want. Do not so here. Let's save all questions. Okay, now let's move it here and then we continue because we don't want testing to duplicate our questions. And okay, here we are. First, click here. And, oops, too much. Yes, so now click here and then File, Export. And then here is the trick. Don't select Moodle because it goes to older versions of Moodle. If you're not sure if your Moodle is an old or a new version, don't come here. I know that mine is the new version, so it will not work. So you go on Blackboard. So Blackboard give a name for your file. So Pearson Chapter 2. You can leave it blank. Moodle will not use it. And then OK. So export and then not appropriate. Export as is. Then Moodle will reject the questions that is not working. You need to give a name again. So Pearson chapter 2. Save it. For the exam. This is a long one. So okay. Uh, close. Yes. And now let's go on Moodle. We don't need to so go to your course. We don't need to go on edit mode. You can do it or not. Doesn't matter because we are not adding any new content. We are only importing the question bank or the test bank. So question bank. And now import. Remember that we export as a Blackboard, not as Moodle. So we go on Blackboard. And then let's find our file. Pearson chapter 2, it is here. 
So just move it or go on choose a file. It will work too. Import. Oh, come on. Let me refresh it here. Okay. So choose a file, Pearson Chapter 2. Import. Okay, it's a matter of refreshing my Windows Explorer. And here, 154. Okay, so no error, it would show us here. Or request one or two or five questions could not be imported. So here we are. Continue. And we are good to go. So here we have Pearson Chapter 1, Pearson Chapter 2, uh, Test Banks from McGraw Hill, from Connect, uh, from Cengage, we also have videos about it, about it. Just check our playlist. Okay, guys, uh, if you have questions or comments, just leave them here. Have a very nice day and God bless you.